Hi friends, we're back with another video. Today we are making sardine fish curry, Bengali style, but with a twist. We are going to make it from the can. So the main ingredients first, what we have here, we'll start with the whole spices. We have some cumin, cinnamon, cloves, couple of bay leaves, ginger garlic paste, uh, homemade garam masala, some salt, cardamom. Onto the ground spices, we have Kashmiri mirch, turmeric, cumin powder, coriander powder, some sugar. We have uh, whole coriander chopped, couple of green chilies and uh, medium tomato and onion chopped as well. The details of the exact quantities are provided in the description box, please do have a look. Now on to the main ingredient which is the sardine. As you can see here we are using the regular sardine that we just got from the supermarket. You can use whichever variety is available. We are using sardines in sunflower oil. The advantage of that is that you will not have to add any additional oil, so that's great. This also comes in a lot of varieties as you may know. It comes in brine or tomato sauce. Just just let, let your whatever you want to do. It's very very versatile in that respect. The first step would be to transfer the oil from the can onto the pan. This is completely dependent on how, we, how rich you want your dish to be. You can add the oil from one or two cans. We're just using the oil from one can here at this point in time. So when the oil has heated up nicely, you want to add the whole spices. So first of all, the bay leaves, the cardamom, the cinnamon stick, the cumin, the cloves, everything goes in nicely. And we're just going to stir it until we hear a nice crackle. Now we are hearing the nice crackle and the next step would be to add in the onions. And we're just going to mix everything together. We're going to keep cooking the onions until they get translucent. The onions have now been cooking for a bit and as you can see they've browned up just a little bit. This would be a nice time to add the ginger garlic paste. And we're going to cook this until the raw smell of the ginger garlic paste disappears. The raw smell of uh, ginger garlic paste has now completely disappeared. We will now add our ground spices. Just add them all together. We're going to cook this uh, for some time now. You can also add a little bit of water while you're cooking so that the spices don't burn up. As you can see now, we, the, the spices have been nicely cooked and um, the oil is separating slice slightly. This would be a nice time to add in the tomatoes. And we're going to cook this until the tomatoes are nice and mushy. It would also be a nice time to add some salt because that is going to help the tomato become nice and mushy pretty soon. Once we've done that, just give it a nice stir. So the tomatoes have now become really nice and mushy. This would be a nice time to add the green chilies. Just split them around the middle and add them. The fish can also go on at this time. So while you're transferring the fish, please make sure that uh, the fish does not break because this is a quite a soft fish. Just try to maintain it as much as possible. As you can see we've transferred all the fish now and now we are going to give it a nice stir. Just keep stirring the, the fish but use a light hand here because you definitely don't want to break the fish and keep doing this just for about two to three minutes. Now the fish has been cooking for a while now around two to three minutes. This would be a good time to add some water. 
Not too much, just around 50 ml because this is going to be a thick gravy. Just add some water and at this time you can also add the um, coriander but before that just give it a nice stir. So I'll sprinkle the entire coriander. It looks great, it's smelling great as well and just give it a nice stir again. So we've been cooking the fish now for around 3 minutes and the flavors are nicely coming out. It just looks great. There's one last step that's needed here. We're going to cover it now and then leave it on in low flame for around another 3 minutes. So our curry is almost ready now. Um, so we've just che checked the salt once in the meantime to make sure everything is fine. We would just now need to add some of our homemade garam masala to add that extra great taste. We're now going to rest the curry for around 5 minutes, we've switched off the flame and then serve it. And the fish curry, sardine fish curry is now ready as you can see guys, it just looks amazing, it smells amazing as well. We're going to serve it now with some white rice. Enjoy!